Hi guys, uh, so in this video I'm going to be sorting out all of this wholesale that is around me right now. I've got 70 items around me at the moment uh, and I'm going to put them in two six lots of 14. Uh, so right now I'm just going to do a bit of a time lapse of me sorting out all of these items here. There's some more behind me there as well. Uh, yeah, and we've got the box at the front here which is going to be the Grail box. This is going to have some of the very best items that I've got in it. There's going to be 35 in here and I'm going to show you through those specific items just after I sort out this wholesale. Uh, so in each of these lots there's going to be one dead stock item per lot. We've got things like the dead stock Kermit tea there which is on a screen stars tag. It's really nice. It's sort of probably 1996 this one. Uh, we've got other sort of Looney Tunes dead stock, we've got a Spider-Man dead stock, and we've got a turn of the Century dead stock as well, year 2000. Uh, so yeah, like I say, I'm just going to sort out these items, and, uh, and then we'll get into the items in the Grail box. I should also mention as well, all of these wholesale lots will be available soon. If you follow my Instagram, which is at Lyles underscore archive on Instagram, uh, I've put that down here somewhere. Uh, if you follow that, I'll be posting each of these six lots as posts with information about them. You'll be able to see each t-shirt that is in the lot on my story as well. Uh, so stay tuned for that, they will be released soon and you can buy them, I accept PayPal payments, uh, worldwide shipping on them as well, I'll do a price with shipping included for you. Uh, yeah, so just feel free to give me a follow, DM me about the items as soon as they're released, hopefully it goes well. I should imagine that the Grail box is going to be just a little bit later than these wholesale lots as well. Uh, but it, they will be coming soon, so if you're watching this video on YouTube and it's just been released, then make sure you give me a follow if you want to buy some wholesale. The wholesale lots as well, uh, I'm going to be putting together in order for you guys to make a profit on the lots too. Uh, so hopefully I can make a little margin and then you guys can make a margin as well. Uh, our prices are to be confirmed, I'm going to work all that out now and get it written down on bits of paper here. Uh, so I'm going to figure all that out for you guys and uh, yeah, so like I say, let's get into it. Sorted. Right folks, uh, so that is everything sorted out. Uh, I've put them into uh, five piles here and I've totted up what I think you guys will be able to make on these lots after you pay fees. So for instance, if you were using Depop and you had a 10% fee, I've factored that into what I think you can make after the fees. So the next step uh, of this video that I'm doing today is going to be to show you guys what's going to be going into this box here. Uh, so let's get on with that one, shall we? So let's have a look at what items are going to be included in the 
Grail box. Uh, this is a custom box I've made. Uh, it's actually a box from End, uh, the store. Uh, I've spray painted it black and I've put my archive name on the front. I use spray paint for that. Uh, it's black on the inside as well and it's just a nice sturdy box. Uh, so good sturdy box for some great items and let's see what items are going in it. Yeah. Show you with the box. What was in the box? What's in the box? Not till you give me the What's gun. in the fucking box? The so the first item is this all over print Marvin the Martian tee, Wild Oats tag. Uh, it's a size large, fits XL really. Really good quality this one. Next item is going to be this Batman t-shirt from 1986. Uh, this is on a Stedman High Crew large tag, single stitch, uh, fits large, true to size as well. No back print on that one. Then we've got this Rage Against the Machine Evil Empire t-shirt. This is an XL Giant by Toltux tag. Uh, really nice wear, really good fade to this item as well. Uh, no back print to this one, uh, as to be expected. And yeah, just a really good item. A solid XL as well, true to size. Then we've got this Red Hot Chili Peppers, uh, Funky Monks tea. Uh, got the band sort of caricatures on the front there with the strong Red Hot Chili Peppers back hit to it. Amazing wear and great fade to this item as well. Uh, this is also on a giant tag, but this is Giant by TJ's, as it's a bit earlier uh, than the Evil Empire tea and also a size XL. Then we've got this Corrosion of Conformity all over print tee, vote with a bullet, uh, back print there as well, register Corrosion of Conformity, got their sort of logo all over on this one. This is on an XL Fruit of the Loom tag, one of the vintage tags with the USA flag under it, single stitch all over, uh, yeah, just a really good piece. This next t-shirt is a Sepultura tee. This is Death from the Jungle. Amazing wear on this one. It's very faded. The print has that wonderful wear to it as well. Single stitch all over. This is uh, 1990. Uh, yeah, good back print to it too with the tour dates. This is sort of like a boxy large, maybe just about an XL. Um, but yeah, really good one. I'm including this Buster Rhymes tee in the lot. This is uh, Buster Rhymes The Coming tee from 1996 with the very good back print of Buster screaming away there on the back. Uh, a lot of these tees that I'm starting to show you here, you might have seen in my personal collection uh, video. That was my first video on the page. Yeah, this is one of the ones in the personal collection. Really good item, single stitch on the hem here. 1996 Buster. Then we've got the Marilyn Manson uh, Anarchist Superstar T. Uh, this is 1996 as well. Uh, been repaired here from where the original owner used to wear a punky belt with uh, the sort of spikes and it went through it and they repaired it. I love stories like that. I mentioned that as well in my collection video. Single stitch on the hem. Uh, got a good back print too with the sort of Manson logo on the back there as well. Uh, as I say, these are some of the ones that I showed you in the personal collection, but we do have some new ones coming up as well that you wouldn't have seen yet. Next one is the Jimi Hendrix uh, Experience All Over Print tee. This is on a Winterland tag. Like I say, all over print, single stitch all over as well. Uh, Winterland, I believe it's 1994, this one. Uh, yeah, 1994, so really good Jimmy tee. Then we have the Iron Maiden uh, Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. This is from 1988. Date is just under the O on the iron there. Uh, this one is like a good XL as well, which is wonderful to see. Nice early Iron Maiden tees in an XL is really hard to come by. Uh, wonderful back print to it too, with the sort of uh, Eddie mummy face on the back there. Single stitch all over, no tag on that one. Then we have the Slayer uh, Decade of Aggression Tour T with the uh, dates on the back there. This has the Merging Faces design on the front. It's an extra large uh, faded Euro tag on this one, single stitch all over. I'm including this wonderful piece in the Grail box as well. This is a Cypress Hill all over print T. This is from 1993. Uh, like I say, all over print, same design front and back there. Uh, the front has a little less wear than the back. The, the back here has a bit more sort of wear on the skull. This is on a Gem XL tag, fits uh, true to size XL, single stitch on the arms, double stitch on the hem. We've got the classic Metallica all over print. This is the 1991 Metallica 
uh, all over print tee. No tag on this one, but it would have been either on a Brockham or a Wild Oats, I think. Uh, single stitch on the sleeve. Really good fade to this one too. Uh, you can sort of see how it's faded around the top here and then sort of isn't, and then it's faded again. All over print, front and back. Just a really strong classic item, this one. So now we're getting into some new territory. You might not have seen these ones yet. Uh, this is a absolutely stunning Grateful Dead uh, tie-dye tee. This is for their summer tour in 1994. Uh, it features a sort of skeleton surfing on the front there. Got a few bears, Grateful Dead bears about, Grateful Dead at the top. No tag on this one, but I have seen it on Short Hills tags. Uh, single stitch all over and is it's got this great back print to it too with the ship with all the skeletons on it uh, this is I want to say this is like a double XL this one this is like a really big T uh, so yeah just a wonderful Grateful Dead item for the lot and then we have a really really nice piece this is Nirvana Nevermind look at that uh, wonderful wear to the to the graphic on the front of this cracking to it nice bit of wear uh, it's on a cut screen stars uh, tag one of the black screen stars tags as this this one is from 1991 uh, there we go back print look nirvana and it's got the lyrics as well uh, on the back there single stitch all over uh, like i say xl screen stars and it fits true to size as well like a good xl and uh, I'm so glad to have this Nirvana going into this box. Uh, really, really strong piece. Then we have an Austin Powers tee. So this is uh, Shagadelic, this one on a faded tag, single stitch all over. 1998 Austin Powers with the Shall We Shag Now or Shag Later back print. I've actually got another one of these and I'm keeping that one in my personal. The one that I've got is on a changes tag. This one is on a faded tag. Uh, nice to see the subtle differences between two t-shirts that are effectively the same, but they are different in their own little ways. Uh, so yeah, Austin is going in the lot as well. This is one you have seen already as well. This is the Misfits tee for their European tour 1996, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, glow in the dark print on this front and back. Uh, not single stitched, it is double stitched. Uh, but that's all good it's on a faded euro tag and uh, yeah just really cool to see a nice glow in the dark misfits tee and i've got another one coming up for you in a little bit as well so keep watching to see that other one then we have the bart simpson uh, tee from 1991 this is a good xl maybe even a double xl i can't tell as the tag is faded on this one uh, but great wear to the graphic on this Single stitch all over, no back print, but you don't need a back print when your front print looks this good. <laughs> and because one bar T isn't enough, here's another. This is absolutely classic. This is Eat My Shorts Man on the large changes tag. Love changes tags so much. Uh, single stitch all over on this one, dated uh, 1990, so one year after the show was out. Uh, and it features Bart in his blue shirt. Hey, where's your blue shirt? I don't have a blue shirt. So yeah, just a really strong Bart tee for the lot. Next up, we have this Jurassic Park, their real tee on a tag tag, which means it's Australian. Uh, single stitch all over on this one, uh, dated 1993 for the first Jurassic Park film. No back print to it, but it's got that really good uh, front graphic to it. Next is this Foo Fighters t-shirt. This is for their first tour. This, uh, this specific t-shirt was bought for the European leg of the tour as well. Features the UFOs and sort of jet fighters on it. 1995 date stamp underneath it here. No back print on this one. I've seen some with back prints. This one doesn't have the back print. Uh, and it's on an XL Screen Stars tag. Uh, yeah, definitely true to size on this one as well. Screen stars always uh, come up nice uh, size-wise when they're from the sort of later 90s like this. Screen stars tees from the 80s and stuff can be really slim, um, but I feel like when they got into the 90s, they changed their model completely and they got quite baggy. 
Uh, this is XL and fits true to size. Another Jurassic Park tee for the lot. This is awesome to kill with the uh, Raptor on the front here with 1993 under it on a Screen Stars large tag. And like I just said about the Screen Stars tees running a bit slimmer the earlier they go, this one is a bit slimmer and a bit longer as well. You can see it's quite a long boy. Um, but yeah, it's just a really good tee. It still fits good pit to pit. It's probably, I want to say, 19 or 20 on this one, maybe 21. Yeah, maybe around the 20 mark on the pit to pit. Uh, but single stitch, screen stars, Jurassic Park, can't go wrong. Next up we have a Brett the Hitman Heart tee. Uh, I've been brushing up on my wrestling knowledge a bit more recently. Uh, I know that this was one that before he had to retire uh, due to the injuries he sustained in his wrestling career. Uh, but this is a really nice clean white tee on the WWF wrestling tag and then behind that tag is a Haynes Heavyweight 50-50 tag and I love it when you've got double tags like that. So nice, uh, you've got the single stitching all around on this one, no back print uh, but it is very clean and uh, yeah just a really strong tee. So we've had one Brett the Hitman Heart tee and now for another, this is a black Brett the Hitman Heart tee. Uh, it's got him on the front there with some pictures of him in the ring above and below it with his name on the front. This is on a Euro 100% cotton XL tag. Nice uh, closed single stitch all over and it's got his name on the back as well. So just a really strong tee, uh, another strong tee. We've got lots of strong tees in this lot. That's why it's a grail box. Uh, let's have a look at the next one. So I've had some Def Leppard tees in the past and this is another one. This is a really nice one. Uh, the last one that I've had uh, just had the sort of uh, screaming face design on the front. This one has got the whole picture with the Def Leppard logo and it's in the sort of triangle here on the front. Obviously for Hysteria, so 1988 I believe. Yeah, 1988 with the licensing underneath here. The fade on this one is insane. I just love the fading and the sort of the way this this t-shirt hangs. Look at that movement. Look at that shimmy. So nice. Uh, completely faded tag, single stitching, and it's got the Def Leppard Hysteria uh, tour dates on the back of it as well. Yeah, really good Def Leppard tee. So we had a Def Leppard tee from 1988, uh, and this is a Dio t-shirt from 1987. Uh, features. Dio on the front with their sort of character underneath it. I've learned that Dio's character, this little panther looking guy, is called Murray. Uh, similar to how Iron Maiden's sort of mummy character is called Eddie, Dio has Murray. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Maybe, well, I mean, I guess Eddie's not very threatening either, but Murray's even worse. Uh, but there we go. Faded tag, single stitch, uh, really good back print to this. I love the green, the colour green on this is like the best colour green. It's so nice. Got the guy playing the flute there, Tour Europe 1987. And this is, this fits like an XL as well, and it's so good to see DOTs in an XL. Uh, this sort of date and these specific types of tees are hard to come by in these sizes, so uh, really good item for the lot. And then we have an Iron Maiden tee from 1992. This is the, the Nodding Donkeys t-shirt. Features Eddie strangling the donkey on the front, 1992 licensing underneath here. No tag on this one, probably on a Euro tag at the time. Single stitch all over as well, close single stitch. Wonderful fade, great wear to the graphic. Got the info on the back here, the nodding donkeys. Only UK appearance in June 1992. Uh, these t-shirts were limited to, I think it was around 300 t-shirts. So this is quite a rare Iron Maiden tee to get. So we've had some classic bands so far, and now for another one. This is Guns N' Roses. This is for their Use Your Illusion tour. Uh, specifically, this is 1991, so the start of that tour. It went on for uh, three years, so 91, 92, 93. Uh, it's on a Brockham XL tag. Fits true to size XL, maybe even a double XL on this one. Single stitch all over, got that strong graphic on the front, and uh, guns and fucking roses on the back there as well, which is cool. Uh, yeah, like I say, Brockham tag, guns and roses, good item. So earlier I showed you the Misfits tee that was featured in my personal collection video, 
and now we have another Misfits tee. Uh, this is a 2001 Misfits tee. There's no date on it, but I know that because it's on the cinder block tag. I've had a few Misfits tees dated 2001 on cinder block tags, and this mirrors that. Uh, good sort of wear to the graphic on this one. Features uh, the band sort of members on the front there. There we go. Back print just has Misfits on the back, and it's just a nice, clean, uh, sort of XL Misfits tee. So I've shown you some all over prints that you have already seen and now for an all over print that you haven't seen. This is a sort of early 90s, perhaps late 80s, I think it is early 90s though, uh, MGM Studios, Disney MGM Studios all over print t-shirt. Features Mickey on the front in the star there. The pit to pit on this one is 26 inches and it's about sort of 31 or 32 long as well. It's a big t shirt, this one, on the original Disney one size fits all blue sort of and white tag. Such a nice tag. I love the one size fits all Disney tags, especially when they're the earlier ones like this. Uh, yeah, it just features that sort of comic book print all over print, and there's the back of it. Mickey's not on the back, but it is still all just comic print on that one. Uh, single stitch as well. Uh, I believe MGM Studios is no longer called MGM Studios. I'm not too brushed up on that information, um, but yeah, just a nice original Disney team. And now for another all over print. This is a Ben & Jerry's all over print t-shirt from 1996. Uh, the seller I bought this from uh, bought this in, I believe, Florida in 1996. It's on a XL liquid blue tag, the original 100% cotton liquid blue tags. Not any of this gold liquid blue tag, nothing like that. It's an original uh, sort of cotton tag. Single stitch all over. You've got great wear. You can see the cracking in the clouds, the cracking on the cows and everything. Uh, the back print says Euphoria on it there, Ben & Jerry's with more cameras underneath it. I love this t-shirt, uh, I want to keep all of these t-shirts. <laughs> yeah, so just a really good Ben & Jerry's tee for the lot. If you've got some chunky dunks to pair up with this, that is a, that's a fit just waiting to happen. Whack some, I don't know, some of these, some Calvins on, some original Calvins, kind of get that blue, chunky dunks, that's a fit, so yeah, great item. So I showed you the Slayer t-shirt earlier, the Decade of Aggression, which was 1991. This is Slayer from 1994. Uh, features Slayer on the front there with um, a sort of skeleton zombie dude with a anarchy hot iron, and he's branding people in hell, I can only assume. Classic Slayer stuff. We Slayer's just so nice. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I've got the back print there, European Intervention Tour. Uh, there we go, I've got all the sort of places marked with an anarchy symbol where they're going. This is on a large Brockham tag. Great wear to this tag as well. What I like about these earlier Brockham tags is how they actually can get worn as well. Just like the graphic of a t-shirt, a tag can be worn and this has a nice bit of wear to it too. Uh, don't forget, if you want to see any close up details of any of these t-shirts that I've shown so far, just have a look on my Instagram page, scroll through the post of the item and you'll see, you'll see the stitching, you'll see the tag, you'll see the graphic, you'll see the date stamp. I always try and show off the items as best as I can. Uh, like I say, uh, vintage is important to me because of these details, what, you know, what makes an item true vintage. Uh, so I try my best to show you guys what makes an item vintage and uh, yeah, no, this is lovely and like I say, I love the details on it. So now we're down to the final three items. Uh, this one is a stunning uh, Pinky and the Brain t-shirt. Features Brain on the front here. It says, you are now my mind slave. Await further instructions. And those instructions are on the back print. Uh, it says, subliminal mind control, further instructions. You will obey me, submit to my commands. You will be my puppet in a plan of global domination, send all of your worldly possessions to me. And it features both Pinky and the Brain underneath it as well. Good wear to this item, single stitch all over as well, on the original Anvil XL tag, the Anvil with the red sort of line, and red sizing. So yeah, just really, really strong Pinky and the Brain tee. You don't often see Pinky and the Brain tees, especially ones of this caliber, 
and uh, this is just a great size too. True XL, maybe even a bigger than XL, you know, it kind of looks to me like it would fit double uh, XL or around there, so yeah, stunning piece. Okay, so the penultimate item in this lot is this one here, this is the Chicago uh, Bulls 1991 uh, Champs. Uh, back when they won in 1991, got the large Fruit of the Loom tag there. Single stitch all over, crispy clean, Chicago Bulls tee, no back print to it, uh, but it features all of the squad there. Uh, yeah, just a really, really strong piece. And finally, uh, I have another Misfits tee for you. I showed you the 1996 Misfits uh, Glow in the Dark tee, the 2001 Cinderblock tee with the band members on the front. And this one is another glow in the dark, uh, Crimson uh, Ghost T. This uh, is from 2001 as well, though. This is on the Cinderblock tag, size large, fits true to size. Fantastic wear to this one. It's got just the right sort of amount of fading, a few little sort of um, pin size holes throughout it, a couple of slightly bigger down by the licensing, for instance, down here. But yeah, like I say, the wear to this is amazing. Uh, got the back print to it too, the skull on the back, uh, but yeah, like I say, 2001, Cinderblock licensing, Cinderblock tag, it is double stitched, uh, but that's what you'd expect from the time on this one in particular. Yeah, so that is the final item. So guys, this is also included in the Grail box. I forgot to show you this when I was showing you the t-shirts on hangers as it is dead stock in the packaging. Uh, but that is a Jurassic Park T 1993 dead stock in the packaging. 100% cotton tag, uh, size extra large. Uh, you've got some measurements on there. The actual measurement will be in the corner. Uh, but yeah, forgot to include that. So that will also be going in the box, folks. So thank you very much for checking out this video. Uh, like I say, I've got my wholesale sorted now and I've showed off what's going in the grail box. So uh, the next step for me is to take photos of these lots and just get them posted, really. I've got individual items which I'm going to post on my page, so for instance uh, the Disney MGM Studios and stuff still needs to go up on my page, I'm sort of saving the best for last. And then when I've got each individual item posted, I'm then going to post all of the wholesale posts, so that'll be the lots that I sorted out earlier. Uh, those will be available to purchase via DM, so you just maybe send me the post, so yeah, just click that sort of arrow, send it to me and say I want to buy this. Uh, and then uh, I will tell you my PayPal. Send me the PayPal amount. Uh, you've got to bear in mind as well, if you're in the USA, for instance, there is a cross-border fee uh, and also the postage as well. Those are things that I have to factor in as well as my cost price, of course. Uh, but hopefully uh, I can make you guys a bit of cash. Hopefully I can make a bit of cash on the wholesale lots. And uh, I really look forward to selling the Grail box in particular. Uh, I would love to sell the Grail box to, for instance, Round 2 Vintage in LA or any of their stores particularly. Um, 99 Vintage in Winchester is a fabulous store with two fabulous lads, Harry and Jack Big Up. Uh, who else would I like to sell it to? Uh, just any, anyone really who has a passion for vintage, whether you're collecting items or if you're reselling items, I'm the guy for you, so just hit me up, follow me on Instagram, and let's see how the grail box goes, eh? Cool. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Stay updated on my page, and uh, I'll see you around.